G'day class, today I'm going to teach you guys how to do some basic things on a BMX bike. Okay, well first off, to be able to do these, you need a BMX bike, or any other type of bike will do. The three things I'm going to teach you are riding a BMX bike, just normally, uh, balancing in the same spot on a BMX bike, and also cornering tightly on flat ground. But first off, safety first. So first, before you can start trying more technical things on a bike, you have to learn the basics first. So for starters, I'm going to teach you on how to just ride the bike normally. So to begin, you want to be able to get comfortable on the bike by adjusting the, the seat, handlebars, pedals and cranks to however you feel most comfortable. To adjust the height of the seat, most bikes will have a clip like this, which all you need to do is just pull it out and the seat will just move freely in the bike. You want to put it at a good height so that you can sit on the bike and like you're sitting in a chair. Just begin with your feet on the ground flat footed like you're sitting in a chair and use your feet on the ground to start to move. This will help you to get the feel of what to do when you start to lose balance. Once you are comfortable with using your feet to get going, you can start trying to pedal. To do this, you want to have your, your front foot fairly high so that you can start going and put your other foot on and just try to pedal straight in a straight line. If you start falling to the left like I just did, what you want to do is, as soon as you start falling, you want to turn the handlebars to the left which will correct your balance. To do this, you want to pull your left side of the bars towards your body and push that side away. To turn to the right, all you have to do is the opposite to the left. So pull the right side of your bars towards your body and push the left side away. After a lot of practice, you'll be able to ride the bike unassisted on flat ground. Now I'm going to teach you how to do tighter corners on a bike. To do tighter corners, you have to have fairly good balance and have to be a pretty comfortable and confident rider. To do it tighter corner, you have to be going a bit faster because you have to lean over more into the corner so you don't crash. When doing the corner, you have to have your inside pedal as high as it can go and your outside pedal as low as you can go, so like that. Otherwise, if you go into the corner like that, your pedal will hit the ground causing you to crash that you don't want. While going through the corner, you want to have as much weight on your outside pedal as you can. This will help your tyres dig into the ground. Now I'm going to give you a demonstration on what doing a tighter corner looks like on flat ground. Cornering this tight on flat ground can be quite risky because there is a slightly higher chance of crashing. The ways you could possibly crash doing this is by high sliding or by sliding out. High sliding is when you don't lean over enough but you still have enough speed and your tyres grip tossing you over the bike. Sliding out is when you go into the corner with too much speed and you try to turn too tight and your wheels slide out from underneath you. This can also happen if there is loose stuff on the ground which you happen to hit. I will now do a demonstration of what high sliding is like. This is a demonstration on what sliding out looks like. how to do is balance in the same spot for a few seconds. This is pretty challenging because it is quite hard to balance in the same spot on the bike. To do it, you have to be on a slight hill to learn it because the hill will help you with your balance. Turn the bar so that your wheel is going down, up and down the hill. Face across the hill so that when you start to fall, you can either pedal to make the wheel go up the hill or make it go down the hill just by releasing pressure on the pedals. So it should look like this on a slight 
White Hill, which is the road. Your bike should be facing like this across the hill to start. If you start falling that way, all you have to do is pedal, which will make your bike straighten back up, and to roll. And if you start falling that way, all you have to do is relieve pressure on the pedal to roll backwards. <laughs> this is a demonstration now. So if you start falling, pedal up. And if you fall the other way, just let it roll backwards by releasing pressure on the pedals. I hope my presentation has helped you to learn about how to ride a bike properly and easily. And good luck!